Welcome to Reggie's Corner Variety Gaming. Welcome back to the Let's Play of the RPG Towards the Pantheon and Part 10. In the last part we arrived in this city, Adaparian, home of the Electropunks, and we found a new member of the party, Mishima. And we are about to press on with the main story, which is to go down here into the sewers, trying to escape the city. One thing worth mentioning though, uh, when we got Mishima, she was very low in level, off screen, so to speak. Um, we got the following. Uh, she has now 12 plus in GPU and 12 plus in CPU, as well as a new ability and some accuracy. And Bam and Freya also got some uh, improvements. So, having said that, if you want to see what happens next in the main story, all you have to do is stick around because now we continue. And here we are down in the sewers. Uh, this is the area where I have grinded quite a bit. Uh, these enemies are, to be fair, really, really tough. And uh, you saw some of them at the very end of the last video. I will probably not head into too many battles. Okay, that's a staircase, we'll come back to that. Uh, I will not do too many battles because I've already grinded, grinded quite a bit. And I don't want to that's the way out. Uh, I don't want to uh, waste a lot of time with random battles when we can press on with the main story. There has to be treasures down here somewhere, right? There we have Mishima. Uh, she cannot climb down ladders and we... that's kind of like a little secret I guess and the reason for that is that she has a gun for an arm there we go you found a dead memory um, so I'll give one of those to Freya and yeah I'll give one of them to Mishima is that like a slime trail or oh, just some nastiness in the sewers anyway that was a good little secret area for sure okay so we can either press on up or go down a level and I think we should probably go down a level and see what happens so now if I try yeah she can't handle the ladder, so Freya has to do the work. We got some treasure. Black discard. I think we have one of those already, so I won't read it. Some pages of a diary on the floor. Most of it is damaged due to contact with water, but part of it is legible. Thank God I was moved to work in the sewers of Adaparian. The laughter over in Akio was driving me crazy, and I was only there for about a week. That doesn't sound good. Can we do anything with these? No. So we got what we could down here, and it was the right call to go down, because it was like a little bonus area, which is always nice. Also, it's a very, very long drop from this ladder. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we'll go this way first because that's a bonus area. Or at least a little secret area. Two shells. You picked up the yellow battery and a tuna roll. And just to remind you, batteries can be used by Mishima, and this one 
uh, is actually quite good because it covers 100% of an electric punch CPU and GPU. So that's basically a full health and recharge, which isn't bad at all. And we can't interact with the queen sewer water, which is probably a good thing. Okay, that's the ladder toga up, but we have something over here. A book and a bunch of its pages are strewn about on the floor. It was Katharos himself who financed the research of Shinmu Kusaki, using the wealth left to him by his parents. Little did Katharos know that Shinmu Kusaki had ambitions far greater than that of the cardio ship. Saki dreamed not of replacing just the heart, but the brain itself. Saki viewed flesh as weakness and was prepared to do whatever it took to take humanity beyond its mortal cage. And I guess this is the... yeah. So basically he was part of inventing the electropunk race then. Um, small recap. Basically they view like flesh and ordinary humans as weak and inferior. So they try to replace uh, parts of themselves with salmon rope, with um, machinery basically. And uh, they even replace uh, their hearts and Mishima uh, has for whatever reason chosen not to do this and she is regarded as inferior and they don't really like her. Okay, let's head down here. Let's see what we have. Big chest, alright. You picked up the Ultra Axe. Freya has now unlocked a new attack that can be used during battle. Okay, that's a big one. So that's, yeah, the Axe has been a, a favorite of mine, so that's very good news indeed. Let's head down here. And we got another dead memory. So I've given two of them to Freya because as I said, I will have we'll do one battle so we can check out the axe. So here is the axe. And we used to have these two, but now we also have the Fury of the Fenrir. Some of the Fury of the Fenrir for an enemy. Oh, it's 17. That's massive. Oh, okay. Let's see, 17 damage though, it's not too shabby. Alright, so already we found some good stuff. Okay, so now let's head back down to this ladder and move on up. Just walk around those two battles. And here we are. We saw this entrance in the last video and now we made it through. Get some trash cans to... Uh... Oh. <clears throat> no unauthorized personnel allowed. Carry on with your business, peasant. That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Uh... Check out the trash, as it were. You know what? Let's do this. Current objective, head north through the sewers of Adiparian towards Akio. And we have done half of that, so now we can continue our journey towards Akio, which is another of the Electropunk cities. This tune is very upbeat. Can we? Yeah, we saw this in the last video and now we got it. Oh, a lot of berries. Very nice. Blueberries, green berries, and yellows. Red berries was one of them. Yeah, 
These are the really good ones. They give a permanent boost uh, of 1 to maximum HP, CPU or NP. So I'll use these. And I'll use one on Mishima because she has a very good like offensive power, but she's a little bit squishy, so we need to deal with that as soon as possible. We got landslide. West. T Dandy Forest. South Adaparian and North Fertroit. Fertroit? Oh, something like that. Freya, can I tell you a secret? Hmm. We've been through a lot together, and I feel like I can tell you anything. Haha. <laughs> but most importantly, I know I can tell you because you won't tell anyone. <laughs> Sneaky bum. Hmm. Oh, that's it? We didn't get to hear what the secret was. That's kind of evil. So we got a little cave. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, check this area out first. I'm not sure if that cave is like a bonus area or if it's actually the place where we should be. We should also take one battle to see what type of enemies we have here. Looks to be the Shorn that we met before. So they aren't really a problem anymore. Nothing out there. Very nice. A Shinoku Saki card was left behind, but we already have uh, one of those. Frost Ride card. I don't think we have that one. There it is. Oh, we had one of those. But I don't think I read it. Frostbrite card. Frostbrite card. Frostbrite was an artist turned ghost after being murdered for handing off sensitive information about the Catharsis to Eternatus. Well, that happens. Luckily, um, Freya has a lot of health. A tune and a was left behind. Alright, let's press on and see if this is a bonus area or actually the way that we're supposed to go. Um, okay, so that's a yellow berry. Maybe we have to go into the caves to get out there. Uh, in that case, it's kind of worth it. It's kind of worth it. And I think there's a chest up here as well. Hill Strike card, and we have at least one of those uh, from before. Yeah, so that's like a whole nother area. I think um, we're supposed to go there, but I also kind of want to check this out. Nothing else, there's a chest that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Akinoid card. Is there anything else up here? 
there is not. And this is the way out, or uh, a way out, anyway. Ah, I was right. So, more yellow berries. Very nice. Oh, so we need to be BAM <laughs> in order to get in again, even though we could get out as Freya. That's a little confusing, I have to say, but it's just a small thing, really. Nothing in there. Have a level up and it's Mishima and now you can see that we have worked on the skill tree quite a bit and now we will be getting the unlocked ability to use Mishima's second GPU attack freeze shots which shots freezing blocks of ice at all enemies which sounds very nice and now we have it So I kind of already done more battles than I thought I would, but... Oh wait, should we try that? Not bad at all. So we'll do one of these. Yeah. Yeah, she's already earning her pay in this little group, that's for sure. So we can go even further down. Oh wow, look at this. A control panel. This panel can be hacked by Mishima if he has the right ship. Which I don't think we have, unfortunately. Now we need to find these ships. Um, There are at least uh, three colors, I think. So it was definitely a bonus area, but one that we will have to get back to. Uh, we couldn't really do it now. And we're back. So having done all we could there for the moment, we'll press on. So back out again, and let's move up first. We have a trusty stick. Uh, it's not really something that we need, so um, yeah. Another chest, which we obviously will take. Green tea. We can move out from the area again, uh, but we'll, we'll check up here real quick. Oh, we can go up here as well. This is a huge area with not a lot in it. I saw a chest down there, so I'm guessing that's Akio, because they're guarding it. Protein powder. What does that do?
delicious chocolate protein powder that gives a permanent plus one stat boost to a party member's attack power, as well as some impressive muscle definition. Now let's let's give it to Freya. Even though I was tempted to give it to Mishima. Let's check if this is uh, Akio. Hey! You don't have permission to pass us, now scram! Okay, so even if it is, we cannot go in the... in through the main entrance as it is. Oh wow, we can go even further to the side. Blueberries and greenberries. Okay, so um, I think I'll go down and head out through the other exit so that we don't miss anything. It's a lot of area to cover. Oh, that's a chest, so that was a good call. Two Nanigiri? We, we have like one of those, I think. So, we could head out to the left here, so we'll do that. Oh boy, <laughs> another big area. And we can go up. This is a big forest. Okay. But let's be thorough. So first we'll head down and get another chest. Small captain. Nothing more to pick up there. And we can go out there as well. Wow. Lots of options here. Syndicate card, we have one of those as well. Okay, so we'll continue in this direction and then help <laughs> head back and up, I guess. What's this? Terence, good day! Don't mind me, I'm just standing watch. You never know when a trigal or ferret might cause some trouble. Where are we? North, to Dandy Forest and Nacht Caves. N northeast, Darmish Mines and Fertroid. East, to Dandy Forest. Southeast, Adaparion. So this is probably not the correct place uh, to be. Inira, I'm so happy we moved here. There are so many butterflies. Heard that the pollution in Akia has killed off all their butterflies. That's so sad. It is sad, but where are we? Well, can we get that information through the Ramalama store? Ulvisakar village. I just love doing business with breathing, while breathing in the fresh air, you know, way. Eh? And he has a scarf. Uh, we have some gold, we can buy another pack of these. Okay, so we managed to find a village that I was not at all looking for. But that's okay. There are books about speedsters and famalamas. One book describes that famalamas often grow up living nomadic lifestyles so that they are accustomed to moving around at a young age. Some of the famous famalamas, such as Jichi, suggest that staying in one place too long is bad for business. He says that seeing familiar areas for too long breeds complacency. He recommends the famalamas move to new areas whenever they become too comfortable so that they are always challenging themselves to attract new customers and stay out of their comfort zone. Good little tidbits. There are books about speedsters and fun llamas. Uh, one book describes how speedsters actually have their own currency known as speedster coins, which they use to trade amongst themselves instead of using gold. Some speeches were infuriated when Catharus began melting down those coins to extract gold from them while he was running his hotel. Well, that is... Yeah, 
<laughs> so I thought there might be something. Dallin Sand card. Yellow battery. Juliana card. Protein powder. Shinokisaku. Tuna Nigiri. Utoyo card. Salmon and Sinica. Yeah, we've seen one of these little areas before, uh, and we have BAM, so we might as well see if we can do anything, and this time we could. Locked doors, but dead memory. So this was like a little jackpot going into this house. Was it her house, maybe? Niala. I love it when it's sunny outside, but also windy. It makes for a perfect temperature. And well, it sounds pleasant. Nevin. Them damn foxes keep ruining our crops. Don't you hate when that happens? Mind your own business, you fool. Always rude, that's... Not all throws personal allowed. Carry on with your business. Uh, they're always rude. You can always count on that being a constant in this game. Rose Smurda. I want to secretly plant a patch of roses, but we need the room to plant food. And I think, seeing as I found this tent, Mishima. So how will we know if our mission is successful? Hmm. What do you mean? If we reach the Pantheon and beat up the baddies there, we'll be done. But aren't there far more problems right now than just who is in power? What will happen to all of the Swornlight soldiers? What about the mountain tension between all of our peoples? Hey, we can break up the tension with some catnip and... <laughs> Then make the soldiers supply all of it, I guess it says. Haha. <laughs> One track mind bam is at it again. But really, how do you know when something is successful? I always think that success is something that is always changing, and therefore you always have to be working at it. Kinda like when I'm doing homework. I'm building momentum by getting things done, but if I stop as a reward, I lose that momentum quickly, so I always keep working hard. It will probably be a long time after we reach the Pantheon until everything will be stable again, but if we win, it will be an important turning point. Then success will switch to maintaining that, which will take a lot of effort. Hmm, I guess we better not overthink it too much. We still have a lot to accomplish. Hmm. And with that, uh, I was about to say that this is probably a good place to end off the part. So yeah, we didn't get to <laughs> the village or city that I had in mind, but we did find a lot of good stuff and the axe was particularly nice and we ended up in a cozy little village that we have to search even more thorough in the next part. I hope that you fine viewers out there had as good of a time as I had and I will see you again in the future. But until then, have the greatest of times and I will see you when I see you. Bye for now. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the Let's Play or the channel at large, please feel free to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you.